Brian. Well, actually, I'm here with Krista. If you don't know, Krista is our new training director in Sparks. So I'm up in Sparks, and Brian is in Carson City. Uh, you know him. Thanks for being with us, Brian. Glad to be here. You know, it's it makes my day bright to have both of you with me today in this discussion. I'd be lost without you two. Did you write that down, or did you just think? No, of it? I was. I, you... I I I thought about it a lot today, and you know. I just told you that I was meeting Krista today, so you <laughs> think about it a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hi, Krista. I just told Krista, hey, you want to do this? She goes, okay, we don't even know what we're going to talk about. Brian, you want to talk about body shaming. Tell us about a client or something that happened. So when I'm, when I'm working with others, and you hear this every now and again when you're in these facilities, people are very, very um, concerned a lot of the times with their own personal image. And a part of that when you're coaching others is teaching them just how beautiful they are. And I'm not talking about the physicality or, or how they look, but just their pure beauty as an individual and how we want to bring that out in them when we're in a place like our facilities, which our gyms are really nice places, you know? And, and so, especially with our clients, when we're working with our clients, we're, we're, we're talking to them a lot about, hey, you got to love yourself. You know, quit worrying about what other people are thinking. Quit worrying about whether or not somebody sees you in a certain way. Quit worrying if you're wearing the, the right clothes in the gym. But on the flip side, when you're watching a lot of these things out there, a lot of the videos, you, you see things out there nowadays, too, where people are shaming others for who they are, or what they look like, things of that nature. And I really I'm starting to think that people have an inability sometimes to mind their own business. In other words, if somebody's in one of our facilities and they're doing their work, they're putting in their 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 work in the gym and they're they're on the treadmill or they're upstairs working with an exercise ball or they're doing some battle ups, whatever it is they're doing, and they're trying to better themselves, bravo, way to go. That's what we want to see. And we support that. It doesn't matter how you look, what you look like, who you are, where you are. We're not worried about all that. We embrace everybody in our facilities. We love everybody showing up in our facilities and we got your back. Yeah, the gyms are very positive places. And uh, Krista's new. How, what are your, some of your experiences with this? I know you've been doing fitness for a long time and you've had some success in changing your body. So tell us about your experience a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, I can come at this at different angles. I mean, I've lost over 120 pounds. So, so yeah, I mean, I, I walked into the gym and I was that person that, you know, do my shoes match my shirt? Like, this is what I'm presenting. Like, this is something I'm concerned about. And then I've gone through this whole journey and it's like, does it matter that my shoes match my shirt? No, nobody, nobody's really paying that much attention. Right. Like, and, and that's the thing is, you know, one of the things that I've always taught my clients and something that I learned is the hardest work isn't really what you're lifting or what you're pushing or what you're putting up the hard work for a lot of us. And the reason we're all here is the hard work. It's doing the internal work. I mean, there's been times I've been crying on the treadmill, working through some of the stuff that's going on up here. So right. anybody who's showing up in the gym, most of us are all fighting through or working through some type of demon that nobody else can see. So if you're showing up here alone, like that's a round of applause as far as I'm concerned. For sure. You know, and I would say you see overweight people coming to the gym. And I want to ask you about this, too, because people might not say anything to you, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you what they're thinking. They're thinking, way to go. Mm -hmm. Did you sense that when you first came into the gym? And I don't know what gym it was, but did you sense that people were supporting you or looking down at you? So at first, I'm thinking everybody around me is judging me. But again, like you were just saying, that's all in my head. That they is all they? in my head. Did you find out they really were? Sooner or later, They were yeah. on your side, right? Absolutely. That's what's so cool Absolutely. about the gym, everybody. I'm telling you. They're, you thought you were being judged, mm -hmm. but I've told you guys this before. You're not. When you go into the gym, people, they want to give you a standing ovation when they mm -hmm. see that. They're maybe too embarrassed or they're not mm -hmm. going to say that, but that's what they want to do when they see you in the gym. 
needing to lose over a hundred pounds. Absolutely. And when I did you figure it out? That it took a while and it took some people. And again, there's kind of these limitations, right? Do I walk up to somebody? Do I say something? Sure. Do I not a, say something? Like, don't want to be a gym creep. Yeah, I don't want to be a creep. I don't want to be weird about <laughs> it. I don't want to make anybody else, un, you know, self-conscious, right? Like, but I did. I had a couple people eventually come up to me and be like, hey, I've been seeing you here. Like, you're crushing it. You keep showing up. Like, hey, you know, and that was kind of like, well, maybe they're not here to judge me. And then I was able to start, you know, building those relationships. And then I was able to start asking questions like, you know, I saw you were doing this. Can you show me how to do and this? And they're happy to do it, right? Absolutely. Did you ask them like, do I look big in this outfit or anything like that? Yeah, no, no, because in my head, I already knew what I looked like. <laughs> I got up that morning and got dressed and was like, all right, we're still working on a goal here. And so, so now then you got comfortable and you realized you could ask people and they were happy to help, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And they were encouraging too. And then there'd be days where, you know, you fall off the bandwagon, right? Because we all do. Life happens. We get sick. Something comes up. And eventually people are like, hey, didn't you see, didn't see you in the gym? Where are you at? What's uh -huh. up? The what's accountability, up? <laughs> the accountability kicks in, everybody. That's what's good about the gym. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So how about you, Brian? Any experiences with, I mean, you're talking about your specific clients and you know this. And maybe they're feeling intimidated or, and I mean, the, the Carson facility is completely different than this facility. I don't know if there's a female in here that can't kick my butt. You know, th this is, I mean, these are serious lifters up here. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but um, it, it's different in Carson. But what's the feel? Uh, do you think that some of your clients, are they timid at first, but they, they have a personal training? Does that make them feel better? How's it work? When, when people are first getting started, I want to say, I got some people waving at us. Uh, when, when people are first getting started, regardless of the clients, guys, gals, whoever it's going to be, I, I do think they're intimidated a lot of the times. I do think that um, when they get started, um, they might be a little bit nervous about what they're doing, how they're doing it. And a lot of people don't want to look silly. They don't want to look out of place. Well, that's where we come in as coaches and we, we just do everything we can to make you feel comfortable. And at the same time, we're going to keep you motivated so that you don't think about the silly thoughts or that little, you know, that little evil mind specter that gets in there that tries to play with your head. We try to push that out of the way. And that's where the encouragement comes in. And once you start getting to know everybody in your facilities, you're going to see generally if you're coming in at regular times, you're going to start having conversations. You're going to know who's who in the zoo, you know, who lives there. Then it really does become a family. You know, uh, you have a gym family, you have a group there to support you. And, you know, if you need help or you're concerned about anything, all you got to do is talk to us. We will get you everything you need. We will get you on that path. We will talk with you about anything that you want to talk to us about. And we will be there to support you in every move you make on your journey for wellness. And, and, and I think it's important to just get started, to not be afraid. Now, I'm not going to say that, that, People aren't going to judge us in these gyms, you know, that, that does happen. But you know what? Why do we care what another person thinks? It really boils down to that. You know, when we were a little kid, our parents used to tell us these kinds of things. Quit worrying about the person that's looking at you. Pay attention to what you're doing. And when we're in the facility, we will do everything we can to protect you. But it's one of the nice things, especially if you're new coming into this, you know, about getting a coach, about getting a trainer, they will be on your side the entire time. They will design your workouts, whether you're training with them or not. We will keep you focused. We will send you messages. We will keep you moving forward. We'll get you to your goals. Yeah, and Christy, you bring a lot of experience into this facility. We're really happy to have her here. Um, kind of a broad background in, as for training and coaching and so on. And um, I just want to follow up on, get a little more of your story. What happened as you started to get fit? Did, you, did people start to say, hey, way to go and, and compliment you? And how did that feel? And how was that? How did that encouragement work? So, um, yeah, I mean, my first, I just kind of started slowly and I started documenting my process and I was all about body positivity. Like, you know, you can't hate yourself healthy. And that was kind of where I was at was I hated myself, 
but I realized that was the wrong mentality to have to begin with, because it's not a positive one. It's not a supportive one. And Brian, you were just kind of talking about, you know, we have to control our controllables. I can't control the fact that somebody might be judging me in the gym. I can't control the fact that, you know, there's all these different things happening, but I can control what I'm doing to take care of myself, my head, my heart, my health, those are the things I can control. And so when I started kind of shifting that focus from the external world of, oh my gosh, this person's judging me, this person's looking at me and realizing, okay, I need to work on me. That's when the positivity started kind of moving in the right direction. And that's when, you know, like I said, I started documenting my journey. I started having people reach out to me saying, okay, hey, you get it. Like you understand, you have kids, you have all this stuff going on. How are you doing these things? And that's how my first brand was actually kind of born was through the process of documenting my journey of saying, hey, today sucked, but I showed up for myself. What did you do today that, you know, in showing up for yourself? And that was kind of the start of that process. And then, yeah, eventually, as I continued to go with the, the flow, meet my people, you know, being here around people that are working on themselves. You may not notice what they're working on, but they're here. They're doing something to take care of themselves. They're putting themselves first so they can pour back into everybody else around them. And it is, it's a process, it's a journey, but you find those people that are going to hold you accountable. They're going to walk that path with you. And that's where the joy of the gym really happens. And then it becomes this family and it becomes a situation where you're like, I got to go. Like it has nothing to do with anything else, but I got to go. It's what fills me up so I can give back yeah, to yeah. my world. My gym bros are going to, yeah. chase me down if I'm not in right. Here, right? Absolutely. Right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it is. That's, it's just in, in, if you've never been in the gym environment or experienced that culture and, we, and we'll do another video, we're going to talk about some of this Joey Swole stuff, but uh, it's not like <laughs> Brian went and watched some of that. And so he's just ready to talk about it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but it, it just, Right now, you know, before we end this, we just want to emphasize the gym is a positive place. Get in there and try it. It's scary at first. I mean, it's not scary for me. It's not scary for you, uh, Brian, because we've been in the gym since we were little kids, you know. Right. Uh, so um, it, sometimes we take it for granted that the new person coming in might be a little intimidated and they, and they need a pat on the back, you know. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you gotta. I guess it, it, people are taking it a little too far with, you know, calling people gym freaks and guys not helping women or women not helping guys or whatever. But uh, any last things that either one of you would add to that? Just stay focused on your journey. Don't quit. You're gonna have good days. You're gonna have bad days. Don't yeah. stop moving forward. It's that simple. Okay, so Krista, if, if people want to get a hold of you on social media, how do they do that? They want to find out more about you. So my main social media is my Instagram account, and it's just, it's Coach Krista, um, C-H-R-I-S-T-A, and that's kind of where I hang out the most is Instagram, and I'm always available to talk and have conversations because I've been in that situation where I felt like I was alone in this journey, and it's not a great place to be, and it's totally not true because... You come here, you find your peeps, and you got people to do this with. So, Okay, so you guys can follow Coach Krista on Instagram. Go check her out. Brian, thanks for being with us, and we will talk to you soon. See you soon.